Пойдемте со мной. Пожалуйста. Да не то то за горица. Да. Вертолет от котов. Остается только несколько минут. Очень хорошо. Очень хорошо. Прождите меня.
Take it down. Take it down.
There are many survivors. May the rescue crew proceed with the removal of the bodies. Have our men help. The general's body is to be removed immediately. I will accompany it back to headquarters. We have a claim of responsibility. Fourth of July Brigade. Caught him on over an hour. I said death. And the group? That's all. The trouble is, there are several groups we know of that call themselves the Fourth of July Brigade. Variations of that. It's going to be hard as hell to find out which one. Well, whichever one it was, I'd say they had military training. If not paramilitary. The only people I know that would pull something like this off would be X-Green Berets. Maybe Rangers. I think of Americans doing something like this. It makes me sick to my stomach. You would prefer the Russians to have done it? Oh, yes. At least that makes sense. I think this makes sense. How can this make sense? corner a couple of those governors before Marion gets to them. God, you look beautiful. Dressed from Andre's knockout. Hmm. That necklace looks a little dowdy, though, don't you think? You gave it to me when we found out I was pregnant with Jackie. Forgotten. But anyway, it doesn't go with the dress. Matter. I don't think I should go tonight. Just tell him I don't feel well. Yeah, but you've got to go. I'm an American. I don't think you want many of them there tonight. And I don't need this right now. Was that the plan all along? You just neglected to tell me you and the Russians were starting another country. Of course not. Maybe they had the idea all along. But look, it's the only way we're going to be free again. We're people like we've always been. You're Amanda. I'm Peter. There are our children. People we know. People we've lived with all our lives. Midwesterners. We don't live with Californians. Do you know anybody from South Carolina? We'll still be Americans. Just more in the sense that Frenchmen or Germans or, or Europeans. There just won't be any country. <laughs> you know, I... I I never noticed you being particularly interested one way or another in being an American. And the whole time I've known you, you've never expressed much interest, much less took part. Now, all of a sudden, it's important for you to be an American. Damn. Look at us. We got a chance to do something really good. Good for people who, for the last 10 years, have been wiped out. Whatever they call themselves. For most people, being American never meant that much anyway. You know that? We're all just living our own lives, doing the best we could. Last time there was any real American spirit was World War II, 50 years ago, half a damn century. Damn, I am so tired of this I'm an American bull! Where was all that patriotism when it counted? Where was that willingness to sacrifice? Nobody wanted to join the damn army to defend the country unless they got paid well. Nobody wanted to give any time to, to public service unless they could make a career out of it. And I didn't notice a lot of us giving up our lives in the last 10 years. I'll go with you tonight, Peter. Not because what you just said is more than half the truth. Because I still believe you're trying to do the best thing. You're not like the Russians. Or Marion and those party people. You really want to do some good. And there are a lot of forces trying to drive you from that good in you. So... 
I guess it's my job to stick by you. Like a thorn in his side. <laughs> Something like that. Absolutely most beautiful girl in the entire room with her brother talking about basketball. You wouldn't think a guy who just started his own country would have time for a mercy dance. I'm always gonna have time for my baby girl. What I don't understand is why she isn't having more fun. There must be 200 very good looking young men here who would die to be dancing with you right now. Gorks. Gorks? Gorks, believe me. Can I say something? No. You gotta forget about Chester Milford. Now, you know I was never much of a fan. But he's gone. You can't stop your life. You should be out having fun with people your own age. <sighs> Shut up, Daddy, right? Don't worry about me, I'm fine. Colonel Denisov. Um, he wanted to speak to Mrs. Bradford as well. Why don't you find her? Hello? Peter, a serious thing has happened here. I can't tell you anything at the moment, but... Sounds like middle of the night news. Yes. Oh, by the way, an attempt was made on Devin Milford's life. What? An attack was made on his escort, or what they thought was his escort. Who? We suspect the party intelligence agency. All right. We had a deal. I think you should consider the advantage of having him released. There's nothing to be gained by his death. And that is what would happen. You knew this before, that this might happen. What changed your mind? I have reconsidered the consequences. It's going to make it tough for me with Marion. I will let you get back to your celebrations, and Peter, congratulations again. Uh, thank you. You wanted to speak to Amanda. Oh, yes, I, I would like to congratulate her. <clears throat> Hello, Colonel. Mrs. Bradford, please listen carefully to what I have to say and try not to react. Devin Milford's life is in great danger. I have warned Peter, but you must try to find a way to influence him. Thank you. Why have you changed your mind? Why do you want to help Devin now? Mrs. Bradford, I've been thinking a lot about what you said the other day, about the consequences of our actions. Even if we try to do the best thing, we can't always control the outcome, can we? Something may come along and upset even the best of intentions. Is that happening? I'm afraid it's always happening.
of it. He's always been there. With us. Even when he wasn't around. Some kind of ghost in our lives. I've always loved you for you. Separately, not through death. Doesn't matter. You're still with us. You too. He's a part of you too. I think I'm beginning to understand. Marion's trying to get rid of him. We all keep going through this process trying to get Devin Milford out of our lives. Like some kind of failed exorcism. Well, it is a little, isn't it? At that stadium, in front of that crowd, I felt comfortable. I didn't feel afraid or in second place. I didn't wonder what Devin would say. What am I doing here? I knew what I was doing there. And it felt right. What do you say we leave this shindig and go back to Omaha? Thank you. For Devon? For you. Are you all right? No. What's wrong? Are you hurt? Andre? What do you think of me? It's kind of a funny question. I need your love. Bored with running the world already? <laughs> I've never had time for love. 
Maybe that's why you meant so much to me. I've always needed your insolence, your unconcern for the things the rest of us thought were so important. What are you talking about? You cannot understand it because it is what you are. Um, I'm leaving Chicago. I thought I should tell you. I don't know why you'd find out anyway. Where are you going? I won't tell you, Andre. I don't want you to find me. And if I asked you again to come to Washington? I can't. I cannot let you disappear. You said you wouldn't stop me. Do you remember that... that little song you sang and that musical you did in the church? The Fantastics. Yes. One you thought was silly and sentimental. Could you sing a little of that song for me? Right now, over the phone? Please. I'm sure there's something else you'd like. Please, Kimberly. Okay. Try to remember the kind of September when life was slow and oh so mellow try to remember the kind of september when grass was green and grain was yellow try to remember the kind of september when you were a tender and callow fellow Try to remember And if you remember Then follow Fine. You should check him on your regular run. Yes, ma'am. If there's any problem, I'll be in the on-call room. No. I'm going home. I'm not feeling well. If you need anything, it's all right to contact Dr. Drummond. Dr. Drummond? Yes. Right. Good night. Assuming she has an unrestricted internal passport, that means she can get the tape to Omaha. Uh, there's a guy who used to be a Nat Net stringer. He's got some kind of a transmitter in the little audience. I don't know what good it'll do, but maybe something. I don't think she'll be able to do it. She could barely get herself to the theater and back. She's gonna have to. Go with her. I don't know. Look, you want to do something or not? If you don't get out of the way. Hi, 
Yes. It's good for you. Kimberly though. Ballard, I know. Glad to meet you. Younger on the stage. Come on, Emma, give us a break. Well, it's true. Thank right, you. I understand you want to try a different role. Get this man to ICU. We can't let him out of the unit, Doc. You got a medical station with a respirator? I gotta have a respirator. Yes, but we don't have an intensive care setup. Get me a respirator now. Matters take their course. We're not strong enough in front of the party openly. You cannot afford a struggle with Deputy Andrews at this point. Why are we doing this then? There's got to be something that makes us different than they are. How do you want to handle it? How do you think people would react if one night they saw on television? their new first lady taking a routine tour of a hospital, possibly with the commander of the Heartland Defense Forces. And in the course of this little human interest tour, they discover a brainwashing experiment right there, live on camera. Under the jurisdiction of the party. They would see that we're gonna change some of the injustices of this occupation. And at the same time, take the focus off Mr. Milford. I'm so tired of being paranoid about Devin Milford. I mean, the world's not going to collapse if he's alive. The more you make of him, the more important he's going to become. Believe me, I'm an expert at it. A year from now, nobody will remember his name. Chicago shipment. You, Eric? Uh-huh. Jeffrey says the Nat Nat wants you back. <laughs> That'll be the day. Get in. Come on, come on. We're only about five minutes ahead of the patrol. I was slick. He's fine, thank you. This is very important. <laughs> Whatever stirs the pot. Do you think anybody will be up to hear this? Well, there'll be some. A broadcast right from here. Keep moving, keep sending it out. Reach more people with my transmitter and try to keep out of the spotter's way. <laughs> try some crazy trying to pin me down. <laughs> I've pledged allegiance to the flag. This is Kimberly Ballard. Flag. Devin Milford is alive. He's alive and he's fighting for America. Public he's been taken to the stand. psychiatric section. People's Acceptance Hospital, the old Veterans Hospital. He needs our help. Liberty. I'll now play a tape of Devin Milford on the steps of the Fourth District Court in Chicago. His message is simple. I know it touched me. One nation under God. Yeah, we 
the most important you ever had in here. You want to face Dr. Collins if he dies on your shift? Or maybe you'd like to explain to the party committee. job or work I've seen a bunch of exiles do it a long time. I'm not a part of this. You can't make me. I'm not involved. I don't think she's ready for the revolution.
what we're talking about here. This man helped a prisoner who was assigned by the 4th District Court by the Deputy Governor General herself to escape. They're nearly here, for God's sake. Just stonewall it. Don't show them the unit. And how am I going to do that? What if they ask to see it? We don't even know if they're interested in the unit. Don't be naive, Helen. And you've been around as long as I have. This Milford man arrives, and the next thing you know, we're doing a little impromptu tour. Now, come on. This smells like a power play to me, and I don't want to get caught in the middle of it. I'll take responsibility. I'm sure Deputy Andrews will back me up. You do that. I know Peter Bradford. He's a decent man. And once he finds out what's going on here, he's going to... I have nothing to do with that unit. I've never even been inside it. Nobody blames this on me. I don't think I need to be here. You're not going to win this one. Not here, not now. It's turning. The tide is turning. Do you realize that this is the first time I've seen someone like you lose in 10 years? First time. It's not over. We've done some breakthrough work here. Breakthrough. We're very proud of the... <clears throat> Amanda Bradford, I presume. Alan Drummond. <laughs> What the hell are you doing here? Oh, you don't know how glad I am to see you. I believe that. Where's Devon? He's gone. We got him out this morning. Thank God. He'll be all right. Well, that ends the tour. Uh, not quite. I think you're all going to have to prepare yourselves for what you'll find here. I'm not sure who it was we are investigating. Peter. There are steps you need to take. We cannot know what the effect of this may be on the people. It could even help you, tragically. The next few days will be critical. Thank you. 
sir. Everything is secure. I want you to stay calm, all right? Yes, he's with us. What's the matter with him? He's just sick. What do you mean? He's very sick. What do you mean? It's not just. Come on. Come on. It's all right. It's not just. Wait a minute. It's not. It's all right. Keep going. It's not. No! Jackie! No! Justin out there, okay? That's Justin. That's not Justin. We don't know how bad it is, and we don't know whether he's going to recover. He's hurt. He needs us. He needs you. What for? Honey. It's true, isn't it? I don't, I don't he know. He needs your love. Something. To make him come back. Bring him back. You have to do it. You have to show him your love. Whether he recognizes you or how ugly he looks or anything like that. Because if you don't, you'll never ever forgive yourself. That's enough. And what was the result of the transmission? A small demonstration of no consequences. Um, now I want you to place all UNSSU on yellow alert. They have to remain in barracks unless specific disturbances are reported to me and I authorize response. Yes, sir. Now, Michael, because Heartland is in the most delicate stage of transition, I must have absolute control of the situation at all times. Is that clear? Yes, sir. I want you to specifically call Major Gertman and to remind him that he is restricted to barracks. I understand, sir. Now, Michael, there will be a great many things in the next few days which, given the way we've operated here in the last 10 years, may seem strange to you, possibly even chaotic. But we must remember what Lenin said about productive chaos. Yes, sir. Get me Major Kirkman. Maria Nikolaevna, please take the paper and take the door. No, Lieutenant. I need Major Kirkman. He was restricted to barracks. Where is he? So find him. Don't get too far from that trap door. Don't know whether they gave up or just given it a rest. With them helicopters, they suddenly appear and surprise the hell out of you. I'm sorry they burned the house, Grandpa. It wasn't you. Guess it's more they didn't like our attitude. Us Milfords have always had an attitude problem. The boy has not been found. Your orders are to break off the search for the boy and return to the barracks. You had sufficient time. And you have wider responsibilities. Your preoccupation with Milford is becoming suspect to General Denison. It is the home of Governor General Bradford, and he wishes to avoid any conflict. Direct the general master, an order given by the commander of our forces, America, at 1600 hours. I must leave a small contingent to assist the local authorities. You have lied to this command about the use of your troops. The general does not know that. I do. I have tolerated it because I thought it worth a show of strength. The situation has changed. If you remain out of control, your command will be terminated. A stray bullet, Comrade General. Yes, sir, a stray bullet. Tragic. 
He is a hero of the Soviet Union. He will be rewarded as a hero. He will be buried in the wall of the Kremlin. I can say that nothing could have possibly meant more to him, Comrade Chairman. We have seen the tapes of the operation. What is your evaluation of the effect? A brilliant tactic, sir. Coinciding with the secession of the central area, now called the country of Heartland. I expect a great many reactions. We should not be alarmed by apparent upheavals. There will be temporary disruptions. Outrage, but impotent outrage. We have been considering sending another general officer to assist you. General Simanov and I have worked closely for many years. He had wanted me to be his deputy at the national level. But I felt it was my responsibility to make certain all went well with the first secession. Now that has been accomplished. And brilliantly too, according to General Samanov. You had his confidence. And you have ours. I will be worthy of your trust, comrades. Congratulations, comrade Denisov. We will be watching your progress with great interest. I thank you very much, comrades. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great sorrow that I report to you that a group of terrorist resistors has attacked and burned the Capitol building in Washington, D.C. In a suicide attack, utilizing vehicles loaded with explosives and charges strapped to their bodies, they succeeded in destroying a major portion of the historic building. Tragically, Many members of the House of Representatives and the Senate were in session at the time. Many are dead and many others unaccounted for. All efforts have been and are being made to recover the bodies and rescue possible survivors. This bulletin came to you from the National Network News in Chicago. Stay tuned for further details. You knew. Our children, Peter. They don't even understand what they've lost. Come on, Mom. I understand. Guess I just don't know what the big deal is. I mean, it's too bad that some guys had to come in and blow it up and all, and somebody had to get killed. But I thought we weren't a part of that anymore. It's part of our heritage. It'll always be a part of us. Yeah. Well. I still don't see why Mom is always getting on my case lately. Oh, I have to go home. I want to go home, Peter. Be in my own house. I need to do that for a while. Maybe I can't be what you want me to be. I can be your wife. But I'm not sure I can be your first lady. Anybody can come. Peter. You know I can't. 
I'll come get you after things have settled down here a little. I'll go with you, Mom. You're dancing, honey. It can wait. I'm gonna hang around here, okay? Okay. I'll be fine now. We'll batch it. Yeah, it'll be great. Maybe you can send some things in a couple of days or something. Or you could come back. Daddy, you'll be all right. I'll be fine. You could come with. Mom really wants you to. I know, baby. I know. Sure gonna make people think twice. Twice. About supporting the resistance. Or even becoming involved themselves. I think that... I just line up behind this new Heartland deal pretty fast. Andre used to say that the resistance was like the outlaw theater we did. Fun, a little dangerous, ultimately safe. I'm going to Milford. I don't believe all this crap. I don't believe it about me. I don't believe it about a lot of folks I know and a lot I don't know. I don't believe Devin Milford will want to roll it up and I don't either. Can I come? do it. Well, I haven't been to the country in a while. Might be something to shoot. There ain't nothing I can do in Milford that I can't do in Omaha. Stay tuned.